Hi, I'm Carmen Alana Tibbetts, and today I am joined in the Egosia Art Studio by this elderly fellow who's a bighorn sheep that I made over 15 years ago. So today's topic is caring for your textile-based artwork. What should you do so that your artwork looks as good decades from now as this guy does today? There's actually just a few things that you need to keep in mind. One of the first is that you should not display your artwork in direct light. And a lot of people think that that means just bright sunlight. Uh, it actually means any kind of bright light and that includes a lot of lamps. So if it's bright enough to cast a strong shadow, it's probably too bright to display your artwork with that light. You want to keep your artwork as clean as possible. So a lot of people think that just means dust. Uh, that also relates to anything that you can smell. So if you have a smoker in the household, or if you have a lot of strong cooking odors in the air, or if you live in a very smoggy environment, anything that you can smell or see in the air will eventually end up absorbed by a textile. So you want to keep your artworks away from those sorts of contaminants, if at all possible. Another biggie is that you should always wash your hands before you handle any kind of artwork. And people don't really think about that. They think, oh well, my hands are clean, what's the big deal? But you always have oils and those oils on the surface of your hands pick up dirt and that just adds to the things that are ending up on the surface of the cloth and over time that can really degrade textiles. So wash your hands every single time. So maybe something has happened and your artwork has become dirty. What should you do? You should not try to wash it yourself. Never immerse anything in water or dry cleaning fluid or try alcohol or nail polish remover or any kind of wacky thing. People try all kinds of things and you may end up dissolving glues, you may destroy the cloth itself, you may discolor any of the pigments that, or dyes or paints that are on your artwork. So just don't try. As long as I'm alive and kicking, you can always email me, just Google my name, and if you need help with any of my artworks, I will definitely do what I can to help you out to make sure that everything ends up okay. But the first thing is, don't try anything yourself. The second thing to think about when cleaning something, and it is actually relatively easy to keep your artwork clean, uh, like for this guy here, if you keep your artwork out on display, it is going to get dusty. There's no way to avoid that. A lot of people suggest that you vacuum the dust away, and some people say, well, you know, you can cover it with a fine mesh and then use a, an attachment on your vacuum cleaner. It's a little tricky to do that. So what I suggest doing is finding someone who has a baby and getting one of these little baby hairbrushes because these are the softest brushes that I have ever been able to find. Softer than any toothbrush, even a really old used toothbrush. And so what you want to do is have a second person with you standing next to you with the vacuum cleaner attachment on and the nozzle about an inch or so away from your artwork and you want to just brush the dust with quick little upward motions and then the dust will come up off the surface and get sucked into the vacuum cleaner. That's really the most that you can do yourself. If you have something that seems really embedded, you can try getting some painter's tape, wrapping it around your fingers and gently patting the surface. But other than that, you really don't want to try anything yourself. So you may be kind of frightened, well, what should I do? <laughs> the best thing to do actually is to live with your artwork. So if you have one of these figures and you're thinking, well, you know, maybe I should put it under glass and protect it, that doesn't work either. Textiles, they need to breathe when they're sealed up. Bad things happen inside, bugs can get in, mold can get in, and then you can't get in to clean it or do anything. So what you need to do is handle your artwork at least every six months. If you display it around the house, move it around. Hang them on a wall, put it on a bookshelf, put it on the mantel place, and every time you move that artwork, 
take it out, look over the surface, see if it needs some dusting, uh, and if it does, do a little bit of light cleaning and put it somewhere new. And when you do that, you will have light hitting it in all different directions. So if there is any fading, it will be not as bad because it will be over the entire surface. You'll have a chance to see if there's any insect damage or any extra cleaning that needs to happen with the very gentle little brush. Um, or if anything more strenuous needs to happen, you can contact me before problems get too bad. So the easiest thing to do, really, is to live with your artwork, spend time with it where you can see it every day, move it around, give it a life. Because if it has a life in your home, you're spending time with it, you're going to be taking the best possible care of it just by seeing it all the time and handling it gently. So I hope that's helped. Uh, if not, or if you have questions, please shoot me any questions via email or on YouTube and I will answer as best I can. So thanks for stopping by. Until next time.